Hello, I'm Ken, VK7DY. As you probably uh, know by the call sign, I'm a ham radio operator. For the last 28 years I've been experimenting with uh, amateur radio and antennas and making my own. And uh, I've discovered quite a few things about uh, amateur radio antennas that, uh, that I've now improved on. The next G phone network antennas that I'm producing came about because I had some friends who had Next G phones and once they left the metropolitan area here in Hobart and went to their homes, their Next G phones wouldn't work. So they were speaking to me about this and, and, and moaning that it, that it was all too hard and they weren't worth it. So I decided that I would make them some antennas to try and see if I could improve their, their home phone for the people who lived out, out of town. And some of them had camper vans and some lived in holiday shacks as we have a lot of here in, in Tasmania uh, in the Lake Country and they were finding that their next G uh, phones weren't working up there. So I put together some programs, went through, did a lot of study, had a look at uh, the frequencies that the next G network were using and come up with some very good uh, Yagi antennas, gave them to my friends to take and try they then took them to the Lake Country and they were very, very pleased with the results. Since then I decided that maybe that there are other people out there who would like to have these uh, antennas and try them out. So I started advertising some on eBay and to my surprise uh, people were in looking for this type of antenna. And it wasn't just uh, local here in Tasmania that uh, we were having these problems. We soon discovered that all over Australia that people were also having problems with their next G network. I've discovered that there are many things that uh, antennas are good at and many things that uh, they're not good at and some of the things that uh, uh, break I've had a, had a lot of experience in uh, working out where those uh, faults are and making them better for my product. My antennas are handmade and they're not mass produced. They're made from top quality materials and not uh, from recycled uh, materials at all. The aluminium is 1.2 millimetres thick and the booms are 19 by 1.2 powder coated and I don't use plastic fittings. Some of the other antennas in the market are using plastic insulators and fittings and they don't hold up after a few years with the uh, UV rays that we have here in Australia. My antennas should give you many years of travel free use. If you've purchased your new Next G phone and you haven't got a patch cable that will match my antenna, you can get one from me. I can supply a patch cable for you. You have to tell me what kind of phone you have and what model, and I can supply you with a patch cable uh, at an extra cost. After testing the antenna, I package it up and I make sure it won't fall apart in postage because you know what it's like with the postage these days. That you've got to have it really taped up nice and strong. And underneath the antenna there's a board, well not a board, a piece of cardboard so it keeps it all straight so if they do drop it or kick it around it won't get bent. So when you get it, it will be in perfect condition. I test all my antennas before they leave the workshop to make sure that all the parts are there and that everything you need so that when you get the antenna it's ready to use. You don't have to worry about things not being in the package. Once your antenna's arrived at your house, and you've unpacked it, it will look like this. You carefully undo the top, remove the label, turn the label over, and on the back you will see some instructions on what to do with your antenna once you've unpacked it. Okay, so here we go. Let's take out the antenna. Remove the antenna from the, the bag and take out your clip. So you should have in your bag is the, the bracket, your antenna and 10 metres of cable. And I'll just cut that. Okay, I'll just turn over the antenna. I'll just get this out of the way. So this is your 10 metres of cable. On the end of the cable will be the FME connector which connects to your mobile phone patch lead. This, this section here is where the signal is being picked up from and this is called a ballon. 
the ballon, just, just make sure that your ballon is still connected to these nuts here and is quite solid and hasn't uh, managed to come undone or broken off during the, the postage. It should be cable tied here and these should be also cable tied. There's a small loop here that has to stay. Don't, un don't undo those. So you've got this connection, the ballon, these cable ties, the loop, all that has to, that's how it should be. There shouldn't be anything moving around. This should all be uh, nice and secure. Okay, the next thing you need to do is put on your mounting bracket. And you would have received your mounting bracket. It will be in a plastic bag. So remove it from the plastic bag. And there's a U-bolt, a V-block and another little plate here. Undo the nuts. Take off your washers. Pick up your antenna. Now this can only go one way, the way I've uh, put the holes in the boom. It goes through the holes. Insert your washers. Put on your nuts. Now the antenna is ready to be mounted on your pole. And the antenna should be in this position, ready to be pointing towards the cell tower. Okay, so for the purpose of this demonstration is to show you how to mount up your antenna. I've got this small portable pole here. So this could be uh, a way of mounting your antenna if you're a camper person, or you're up at the lakes, or you're out fishing, or you just want to have a portable unit, then these, these little tripods uh, are very good for that. So what we do, um, pick up your antenna, you've got your, your clip on here and make sure that this, this piece here and this piece here are on the right side. Okay, mounting the antenna on the pole is done like this. Just make sure that the pole goes between this clamp and in here. Set your spanner and tighten up the nuts. and just nip them up and now your antenna is now mounted on the pole remembering this little loop is still in place and you bring the antenna cable down we'll just loosen this off a bit and bring it up so you can see it so this is how it should look on your pole okay once you've got it on the top of the pole raise up the pole tighten it off that the right way. And then you can then attach your cable to the top of the pole so it doesn't pull off. And making sure that this little loop is still intact and is taped to the pole. So if you're pulling on the cable, you're only pulling on this piece and not this piece here. So now we're going to adjust the antenna towards the cell tower. By watching the signal strength on the on the phone, you gently rotate the antenna till you get the best signal, and then back till you get the worst signal. Once you've got the worst signal, you come back until you get the best signal, and that's where you lock off your antenna. Now that you've uh, we've covered all the aspects of the antenna, how we get it to you, how it's packaged, how you unpack it, how you mount it up on the uh, roof, how you point the antenna to the cell tower. You shouldn't have any problem with my antenna picking up the next G network from your uh, remote location or wherever you want to put it. Whether you're a camper person, where you're a shack owner, or you're just at a home base and you're just out of the a fringe area, then this definitely will work for you. I'm looking for your feedback. I need a good feedback as well as bad feedback, so I'm, I'm here to help. If you don't tell me the problems with the product, then I can't make them better. So please, please tell me if you uh, what you think, and if it's it's working really well, I'd like to hear as well. Thank you.